How's it going, family? There's a whole lot going on in the stock market, and we got to break it down. So hit the like, hit the subscribe. I'm Keenan Grace. If you don't know already, you're going to get to know. Now, let's talk about it. Take a look at this. Remember, this is not financial advice, but this is education, mother, father, sister, brother. Now, check this out. There's a website called news.investorturf.com. I'm not saying go and use this. I'm not saying this is the next Bloomberg. I'm not saying this is the next Reuters, which are financial websites that people use often to find out about things going on in the market. However, they are making some noise in Twitter, particularly and in mainstream media that I want you to know about so that you can say, hmm, what's going on here? Especially if you an AMC ape or you hold GME. And remember, AMC and GameStop should not be traded or treated like Apple stock or Home Depot stock. These are more short squeeze plays. And I always got to say that for the knuckleheads. So where my notepad at? Bop, bop, bop. And for the other people who make content or things like that, who purposely try to not even not understand you, they are committed to misunderstanding you and they misunderstand on purpose that this is about the mother of all short squeezes, which is not guaranteed. And this is also about market fairness. It just depends on where the apes are with them. Remember, never invest more than you're willing to lose into a play that could be considered a short squeeze play. Again, don't treat it like Apple. Don't treat it like AMC or don't treat it like Home Depot, for example. I'm talking about AMC or GameStop. So now let's talk about what's going on here and let's take a look. So newsinvestorturf.com. Basically, when you look at them, they talk about, you know, what is payment for order flow and they're talking about politicians and how they're moving. But I want you to see this. They posted a message on Twitter not too long ago about how Citadel Securities, one of the top hedge funds in the world and market makers at the same time, is requesting them to remove articles of what they're calling publicly available information and allegations that they created it themselves. But Citadel is on their back about it. So then they're saying, hmm, there's smoke here. Is there fire? So then let's go ahead and let's look through it. It says this, Citadel a Wall Street market maker and hedge fund, AKA the big dogs, the institutions in the background, right? Took a $600 million loan prior to the recent financial events and later required a 1.5 billion bailout from two different other institutions listed here. And it says that the first time the firm ever seeked outside help, right? Now, why is this important? And again, remember, all of this is alleged. So make sure you do your own research. But we just want to say, hmm, where there's smoke, is there actually fire there? So let's look at this. They said, despite this, Citadel has been releasing statements to the media, which they have been doing publicly, about their business success. And they said that their analysis suggests that the institution may be in trouble and it's continuously misleading investors and the public into thinking that they're actually killing it when they're actually not. So now, why is it important? When we go and we look at the facts and we look at the receipts, we'll see, okay, you look at mainstream media and you'll see, according to CNN Business, Citadel made 16 billion and smashed the hedge fund earnings record, family, for one year at 16 billion. And then when you look at the leader of Citadel Securities, which is Ken Griffin, they saying at CNN again, is this the greatest trade ever? Citadel smashing the records, making it the most successful hedge fund ever after a $16 billion year. The most successful hedge fund ever. What year, family? This is 2022 that they actually killed it like this. Now, why is that important? Let's take a look and just look at the receipts. Why is that important that this happened basically in 2022 and last year? Because the markets were absolutely getting smoked all year. Look at this. Citadel Securities flagship climbed 38.1% in 2022 as the broader market tanked, as the broader market tanked, the entire market, literally from about January 1st, that's when the market opened, all the way out until the beginning of 2023, the whole market was tanking and they were making money off the backs of everybody else as everything was falling down. And look, what happens to the rich? Even when the market's coming down, family, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Let's take a look. It says Citadel Ken Griffin earned $4.1 billion last year. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because I just made a video about this and I wanted to follow up it just to show you what's going on with them toting all of this success that they're having. They have the most money a hedge fund manager ever made in history in one year. 
and they had the most successful hedge fund performance ever. So the company is doing the best and then the hedge fund manager is doing the best in the same year. And how do you find out that anybody's doing this well, right? They got to tell you, and this is what's happening. The Citadel is telling you this and they're pushing this information out. And what does it do? You got to understand in a world of public perception, success begets success. What do I mean by that? I mean, when you see that somebody is successful, what are you likely to do? You and many other people are likely to go check it out and say, hmm, why are they so successful? What are they doing, right? What are they doing that's making them so successful? Even when it comes to people who, you know, I'm about to get demonetized for posting your girl, but it is what it is. Your girl, Nancy Pelosi, even if what she's doing allegedly is wrong, allegedly is not good, blah, blah, blah. What happened here? Her success makes people look and say, what are you doing here? So then when people see that Ken Griffin and his hedge fund is having so much success, it could draw in new potential investors, new potential, either smaller investors, new potential accredited investors, new institutions that can invest into the hedge fund and then make it a snowball effect of rolling success. So then you hear, oh yeah, 2022 was crazy for them, but 2023 is going even crazier because they're just drawing in so much attention and people are investing in, right? This is how these things work. So again, I talked about your girl, Nancy Pelosi, so you know I got to talk about the rest of what's going on with Investor Turf. And this is them on Twitter. If you want to get them follow, you be the judge. Again, I'm not going to tell you to follow or whatever, but this episode is brought to you by Moomoo. Moo. Join and get up to 17 free stocks. And I have a whole lot of more information for you, family, but I got to tell you about this sponsor today so you can get up on investing and use an app that I like and I trust. So now, get up to 17 free stocks you can invest very easily and simply from your phone that makes it quite simple and quite easy it's commission free trading no commission on the stocks etfs options trading and no account minimums it says right here it's easy to use pro grade tools they do have a simplified version which makes it easier to do and i've done a video that is going to link after this to show you how to use Moomoo more accurately and it says again you can even use level two data so you can look at the order book and it's free a lot of institutions and a lot of apps charge you for this but Moomoo is giving it for free you got around the clock trading aka in the pre-market and an aftermarket and then you got the 24 7 customer support you can talk to a licensed rep during the trading days or you can get 27 or 24 7 online support right here on your phone nice and easy now you can claim your free stocks each worth up to two thousand dollars a piece right and you can see the options that can come out here and then take a look at this if you open an account and you deposit zero they're going to give you one free stock basically free level two data if you deposited nothing you just open an account however i encourage you to deposit at least 100 so you can get up to this level where it says 100 dollars if you deposit of your own money that you will invest into your long-term portfolio or your trading or however you plan on doing it right you'll get seven free stocks total but if you put in a thousand you'll get all of the 17 free stocks so that's absolutely huge and it ends basically on the 31st so this is a great deal if you want to get into the game of trading or into investing and you have not done so already nice and easy from your phone so now let's check this out it says here and this is investor turf they're saying that Citadel, again, a market maker, and then Virtu Financial, another market maker, are being accused of manipulating the stocks of a cancer treatment therapy. And shout out to Kimbo the Legend who tagged me in this on Twitter. So why do I want you to see this, family? Because this is out of pocket, in my opinion. But they brought the receipts. Let's take a look. It says right here that it's Northwest Biotherapeutics, and it's filed a lawsuit against Citadel, and it alleges that the market makers engaged in what's called spoofing. So at this point, I want you to throw some headphones in the chat so I can explain to you what's going on here with spoofing and give you more details on it. So it says, basically, they're placing orders with the intent to fool other investors about the stock's demand and manipulate the price, which was outlawed since when? Since 2010. Spoofing has been outlawed since 2010. So what Biotech Therapeutics is saying, is this or biotherapeutics northwest they're actually saying this they're saying when you see something i want you to just think about this let's imagine that you you never saw this remote that i have in my hand you never saw it before you to you it was just a remote it was worth nothing right and then you see a price of this remote and you see that the price is 100 dollars for just for this little remote you're thinking man we'll pay 100 dollars for that remote right and then you go and you say let me go look at the pre-orders on the remote right is anybody even buying this the pre-orders and how much orders are coming in and then you see that there are literally 500 million pre-orders on this remote 
to put that into comparison, there's like 330 million people in the United States. And then you see 500 million pre-orders on this remote for a hundred dollars. You're like, yo, what's up with this remote? What does it do? Right. It piques your interest. So then you are now more likely to buy the remote because you see so many other people are interested in it because there's many things you could do. Maybe it has a great use that makes it worth a hundred. Maybe, you know what, if you get your hands on it, you could sell it for 200, right? You, your brain, the wheels start turning in your brain. But guess what? You find out that you're actually being spoofed because the makers or the people in the background who are involved with the remote have put in the orders themselves or they're working with another institution who are putting in all kinds of orders for the remote. And it looks like there's a lot of people putting in 500 million orders of the remote, but actuality, nah, that's not happening. You're being tricked. They don't intend to ever buy it. So then when you go and you buy it, you really the only one buying it and you're being spoofed because you saw all of the orders. Now that's exactly what they're saying is going on with this one. And this is why Northwest Biotherapeutics has filed a lawsuit against Citadel and many, many other market makers, again, alleging that they are spoofing people because they don't intend to ever really buy the stock. But since you see all of the orders at a crazy amount coming in, you say, whoa, this one, they must be buying. They must be ready to buy this. This is going to go crazy. I can see all of the orders coming in. Right. And this has been outlawed since 2010. Now, one of the reasons that this is going on, there's many reasons. But because people might be trying to play it for a short squeeze, right? They might be trying to play it for a short squeeze. However, again, if you see the institutions getting busy with it, this draws in a lot of retail investors, for example, as well. Now, look at this. AMC is currently $4.55. Like I told you before, don't ever play this like Apple. Don't ever play it like Microsoft. Play like AMC. I personally put in what I'm willing to lose and not a dollar more. This way, the short sellers and the naysayers and everybody who's a hater, blah, 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 they can't shake me out because I done this responsibly right? i've been saying this from the jump that you never put in more than you're willing to lose because then it'll make you trade with your heart and not with your chart so now here we go it's up basically six percent totally on a day when you look over at gamestop or i gotta get here first right can't forget that on a month it's down 27 percent remember people didn't respond well to everything happening with the vote on amc which i did a previous video on again look up AMC vote and look up Keenan Grace and you'll see that video about what was going on with that. But now check this. GameStop is up 32% after hours, right? What's going on here? There's a whole lot going on here. But one of the things in the background that many people haven't considered outside of the obvious stuff like the short sellers and things like that is, again, Treasury Secretary Yellen is saying that the government could backstop more deposits, aka kind of insure them if they think it's necessary, if they think the banks are gonna collapse behind this, right? So since they're doing this, this is telling the short sellers, you know what, there's about to be money flooded into the system. So then if there's gonna be money flooded into the system, then what we have to do is cover some of our positions, not all of them, but some of them. And then this is starting to see these spikes. When the short sellers cover, they actually buy in large lumps. So then you start to see that the stocks that they have shorted, at least a little bit, start to pop up. Not like crazy, like you could expect potentially. Remember, no guarantees, but then you start to see those kind of pops because you might see some smaller hedge funds, smaller institutions saying, yeah, we're not we're not going to wait for the Fed to pump money into the system again, like they did similarly with during the pandemic, during the stimulus check days, the STEMI days, you know what I'm talking about? So again, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. It's been a crazy day, but if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks to stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in index funds, again, hit the Momo link in the description so you can get your free stock today and get access to information. Catch you in the next one and take care.